let's see what bot has to say to us. Please enter your name. Mm -hmm. He is asking me to enter my name. Well, my name is Nisarg. Hi, Nisarg. How do you feel today? Okay, I'm a little bit sad because I lost my wallet. Oh, sorry, I lost my wallet. What do you have to say? Hi, Nisarg. I can predict that you are feeling sadness today. Mm -hmm. Hey. Please don't be sad. Cheer up. Let's start a day with your beautiful smile. Oh, wow. That actually makes me smile. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisar Kadam, And today, as you have already seen a small glimpse of what we are looking at, which is nothing but emotion prediction bot. Yeah, you heard me right. So. How does this robot actually predict emotions? It's not some sort of string manipulation. It's actually a machine learning model, which is trained highly using our own favorite product, UiPath AI Center, exactly. So we are going to go ahead and look at how we can create this emotion detection bot, which is right here. What it does, it's very simple. All it does is that it starts the initialization reads the configuration, asks user to use, uh, you know, so to enter the input data by mean of ask user, it actually talks to user. Uh, I've actually used speech to text and text to speech here. Uh, I didn't get much of a better clarity on speech to text. So I have skipped that part to enter the data manually, just to show you there are many applications of these type of workflows or robots, which actually can predict humans emotions. Now, when I say when a bot actually predicts human emotions, it means that a human emotion detection can be used in multiple scenarios. For example, you know, in medical diagnosis, how a patient is feeling, you know, based on that, uh, the mental condition of a patient can be diagnosed, you know, based on the text or based on the data that he writes or based on the uh, the sentences or statements that he gives about how he feels, right? Uh, it can be used in educational background to get the feedback, employee safety, you know, it, it can be used for uh, fraud detection. It can be used for, you know, recruiting. It can be used for call center, intelligent routing. It can be used for public services and connected home appliances such as AI enabled home appliances. It can also be used to verify the uh, the brand awareness of a particular product in the market for retail organizations, for retail industries. So there are so many ways in which we can actually use emotion detection by a user, right? And that to predict the emotion detection, what we are going to do is we are going to use UiPath AI Center. I'm so sorry for uploading this video so late after our last video, but I will make sure to make it continue. Uh, so as we see, uh, I will start explaining what is the model that I have used what, from where I downloaded the data so that you can also go ahead and download the data from the same reference. So without wasting our time, let's get started. So here's the Kaggle data set, which I have used, which is, which you can, so actually all you have to do is navigate to kaggle.com. You can log in with your own Gmail ID. And then you basically just have to navigate to this particular data set, which is emotions in text. Uh, thank you so much, Ishant, for this beautiful data. So this data set has a CSV file, which has up to 21,000 rows of emotions, right? Along with all the tagged data. Now you tell me, what is the data? Uh, what is the machine learning model that we should use for this specific classification? Oh, sorry. I just gave it out you have to use classification machine learning model, which is nothing but English text classification. So how do we get that? It's very simple. First of all, let's go ahead. Let's download the data. Once you download the data, you can get all the data just like this in your machine. So as you can see, I have tons of data, which is 21,460, which is approximately 21,459. And then all you have to do is divide the data into test and train. So what I have done is I have classified and separated out training data set where I have at least 500 to 200 entries. Now, for example, 
whatever you want to train, just make sure the proportion of the data is equal for each and every training set. For example, when I wanted to train the data, what I did is I captured 500 rows of each particular emotion, right? Out of this 21,000, how many, now you would ask me how many emotions are there? So I'll just go here. I'll just filter this out. And as you can see here, I have anger, feel, happy, love, sadness, surprise. So I have here six types of emotions. And for each emotion, I have at least 500 data. As you can see here. So I have so much of data here where, you know, I can capture this information. As you can see, the count is 500, right? Now, in order to keep the proportion and train the data properly, you also have to worry about the test data. So if the training data for each classification category is 500, then the test data is at least has to be hundred of the equal category. Now, always remember in order to use English text classification, machine learning model, you have to have at least five data of each category that you are going to train. But in our case, if we are using a proportion of 500 is to hundred, so it's like basically 80 is to 20 ratio, always follow 80, 20 ratio for training and testing data. Now that you have training data and testing data in the place, all you have to do is go ahead and use UiPath AI center. All I did is I just navigated to cloud.uipath.com. If you want to know how to enable UiPath AI center, I have uploaded a couple of videos, but just let me quickly give you a brief idea how you can enable UiPath AI center just like this. So click on admin. And if you go to licenses, you will see here trial license. In my case, it is enterprise plan. If you want to enable enterprise trial, you can see an option right here. You can enable the enterprise trial license. Then you have to create a new tenant because in the old tenant, you cannot enable AI center. <clears throat> so create a new tenant, enable AI center just by adding it into tenant settings. Make sure that you have sufficient AI robot licenses. So just click here and in the robot services, just verify whether both the AI robots are assigned to this specific tenant. Now, once you have assigned AI robot, click on the AI center and you will navigate automatically to UiPath AI center. Now on AI center, as you can see, I have three product projects here already, Acme task mining, emotion detection, and your chemical sample. All you have to do is create a project. Okay. And once you create a project, so how we can create this entire project is I'm going to upload very soon, how you can create this project from scratch. Let's go ahead and let's start testing how this project, whether it actually uh, predicts emotions perfectly. But before that, let me show you what is the accuracy of this model. So let's go to emotion detection. The accuracy of the machine learning model is here in the evaluation pipeline. The accuracy is 77.5%, which is pretty good. And for training, it almost took 141 minutes, right? That's more than two hours. And it took only 203 seconds for the evaluation, which gave us 77% accuracy. When I deployed it, I have predicted 29 predictions till now, and it's pretty much working. So let's go ahead and let's start testing whether this actually works. So let's run the first execution and let's see what the bot has to say. So this beautiful car you see on the wallpaper, <laughs> it's not mine. It's just a wallpaper. Okay. But I own the Please one. Please enter your name. Okay. So here we go. Enter a name. This time I'm going to be Jennifer. So let's say I am Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. How do you feel today? Okay. So I'm Jennifer and I say, you know, finally, I'm surprised. So finally, I got my degree. Let's see if bot can predict. Hi, Jennifer. I can predict that you are feeling happy today. Being happy is good for health. Have a nice day. Okay. That was not a surprise expression. That was a happy expression and bot actually predicted that. So now I'm going to become Aniket this time. Just changing the name here. Okay. Let's see what bot has to say for the next sentence that we do. Run. Please enter your name. Okay. Now. I'm going to enter a name as Aniket and apparently Aniket is falling in love. 
Hi Aniket, how do you feel today? <laughs> so Aniket says, you know, she makes me blush, uh, you know, no matter what. So Aniket is in love. Let's see if bot can predict that. Hi Aniket, I can predict that you are feeling love today. Oh? I love that you are in amazing mood today. So the bot actually predicted that Aniket is in love. Now let's see if bot can predict a few more couple of sentences of different emotions. Let's let's give it to a harsh test. Please enter your name. So this time I'm going to be Robert. Hi, Robert. How do you feel today? So Robert is actually vulnerable. So vulnerable, sorry. I am vulnerable. Um, you can say I'm vulnerable to get easily addicted. I mean, to anything, you know, so let's see if bot can get this prediction of emotion because the sentence is Hi, Robert, I can predict that you are feeling fear today. Okay, fear. How can I help you to get in contact with someone? Wonderful. So bot predicted that Aniket has, sorry, Robert has fear because he's vulnerable, vulnerable that he can get addicted to something. So bot also suggested that he can contact someone today to call him. That's great. And the last one. Please enter your name. Uh, this time I'm going to be Nisarg again and let's see a complex sentence. Hi Nisarg, how do you feel today? So this time I'm going to make it a little complicated. I'm going to say I am frustrated because of my work schedule and let's see what bot has to predict and say. Listen to this properly, okay? Let's see what bot predicts. I Nisarg, I can predict that you are feeling anger today. Anger is not good for health. Please take a break. <laughs> wow. So what actually predicted that I'm frustrated because of the work and it also told me to take a break. Uh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Bot. And thank you so much, UiPath, for an amazing English text classification model. Because of this, I was able to create this beautiful text uh, analysis of emo emotion detection, right? So... If you also want to create the similar kind of emotion detection with me, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Watch this video. I need 1000 views on this video. Only in that case, I'm going to upload a full detailed development video of this particular robot. Thank you so much again. I am back and happy automation. I'll make sure to keep uh, the momentum of the videos upload. Thank you so much.